Hello everybody. Today I'm doing a video on my top five most used and carried knives of, well this year, pretty much last year too. So we'll, we'll say forever. All right, now I want to get something out of the way. That is that these two knives, my Microtech uh, UTX 70, it's the dagger edition, um, and it's in 204P, which I've always found kind of um, interesting. If I can f get it to show up there, there you go. Um, it and this, my mini Troodon, are always pretty much on me. So they're not going to be counted in the top five because they don't really vary. So it doesn't really seem to make sense to put them in a, uh, in a, in a list unless it was like a permanent list of my, my five knives I always carry, which if I do that, something like that, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. So we'll get these off to the side here. Moving on. Runner up because I don't actually carry this knife, but I use it more than really any other knife here that will be out So it qualifies under the use qualifier, but not the carry qualifier and that is this knife. This is the Amari Creator it is a folding kitchen chef's knife prep work knife um, in VG10 Let's see here There we go VG10 double uh, detent, the only double detent knife I have, and uh, I use this thing several times a week, just preparing food for myself, crushing garlic, whatever it may be. So, um, yeah, you have that, the Amari Creator, really, really nice knife. And uh, it's it's also, I guess, a, a runner-up, or not one of the five most carried, but still the most used. So moving on, next we have Number five in my most carried and uh, most used list, and that will be the Civivi Imperium. A front flipper, uh, thumb stud, let's see here, Nitro V. There you go. And this is the copper shred carbon fiber version. It is number five. It gets carried almost every Friday as the secondary knife, regardless of what else I'm carrying, uh, just because it's a front flipper for Front Flipper Friday. There we go. Put you over there. Next, coming up, and the fourth most carried knife is going to be the Chavez. I think this is the uh, Liberation Street because it has the Tonto. Correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free. I love the knife. I'm not great with names. It's an M390, very aggressive Tonto, solid titanium skill, uh, scales, like literally no milling at all. It's a chunk, but it's a great knife to carry, excellent action. It gets carried on Tuesdays for Tonto Tuesday. Imagine that. Okay, moving on to number three most carried knife, and that is going to be the Pena Knives PK1, also known as the Lanny Clip, I think. And uh, with its, what do they call it? Compound grind, double compound grind, hollow grind with the flat grind there at the tip. Um, let's say sub frame lock. And uh, yeah, a really, really nice knife. A bit difficult on the sharpening and stropping, but uh, yeah, I make do. Coming in at number two on the second most carried knife uh, is the Spyderco Smock. Uh, this thing is carried several times a week just when I grab a comfort knife or Saturdays because of Smock Saturday, Spyderco Saturday, whatever. But, uh, but it gets carried <clears throat> more often than any of these other knives um, with the exception of those two, of course. And uh, Spyderco Smock. Great knife. I, I really love this. This is an S30V. Uh, I believe I talked about my Spyderco collection recently, so I won't belabor the point. And there we go. Spyderco Smock. And last but not least, the most carried knife, because this one gets carried in the side pocket uh, when I'm carrying pretty much any of these others. Uh, except this one's a side pocket too, but I'll throw this in the side pocket because I just really love the knife. It's really useful. It's a great size, design, weight, and everything. And that is the Chris Reeves Small Sabenza 31. It's in S45 uh, VN blade still, and uh, 
it rounds out the top five, technically, with some bonuses. Uh, most carried knives that I have carried in, well, really a long time. Other knives rotate in and out in the main or the side pocket, but these guys are the ones that keep finding their way into my pocket pretty much all the time. So there you have it. Um, and as I was saying, the Amari, this, the Amari Creator, is probably the best folding kitchen knife I've ever seen. Yeah, it's not even super expensive, so it, it's nice. That's it. Top five most carried and used knives of forever. Hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Patrick. Bye.